I'm Tracy Tucker, and this is Discover Flint Township, brought to you by the Flint Township Economic Development Authorities, HAP, Financial Plus Credit Union, Shea Automotive Group, Guaranteed Rate, and 103.9 The Fox. This morning, I have two special guests. We have Elizabeth from HAP, Elizabeth Robinson. How are you today? I'm fantastic, Tracy. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Yay. And we have a gentleman in the house. Joe DeMambro from (laughs) Crim uh, and Crim Festival of Races. It's like, is that separate or is that all one? How do you do that? Um, So my focus is really the HAP Crim Festival of Races. But as as a lot of people know, and not not enough for continuing to tell people, the the Crim is so much more than the race. There's (laughs) a whole foundation that's doing tons of programming and servicing throughout our community. But yeah, I'm here because I'm really excited to be talking about the 45th HAP Crim Festival oh, of Races. Amazing, amazing. And HAP is a part of that again this Absolutely. year, Absolutely, right? we wouldn't miss it. Yeah, I, I was so sorry to see, uh, well, I wasn't sorry. I was happy to see Bobby Crim <laughs> last year at HAP. I was sorry to hear that that was going to be his last year, or is yeah. this his last year? I will How say, I so that? Bobby, when he finished the 10 mile last year, he said that it was probably his last 10 mile. Um, right. I can say the last time I talked to Bobby, though, which was not too long ago, he is still running. So All right. I, awesome. you'll see him, you'll see so him on the bricks. Hear. It may not be in the 10 mile, but you see him yeah. on the bricks racing. That's so good to hear. He's been loving doing the teddy bear trot with his great grandkids. Oh, so that's been always oh, that's fun fantastic. to watch. That's great. Oh, I love it. Well, I'm glad to hear because, you know, uh, none of this would happen without him. Right. Yeah, it's, he's a fixture. It's It was fun. I got to actually, so it's a tradition for everyone in the training program, you know, the, the 15 weeks of meeting with a group and training for a crim race <laughs> to do kind of like a practice crim run two weeks before. Um, and Bobby reached out to me. He's like, hey, I want to do the 10 mile this year. I want to do the practice run to make sure I can do it. And I want you as the race director to run it with me. So two weeks before the race last year, I got to run with Bobby while <laughs> all these people in the training program are running. And I can't... That guy is such a celebrity. We were getting stopped and <laughs> everyone that ran by us wanted to say hi, say thank How you for funny. everything he's done. And yeah, he is, uh, he's done an amazing thing, continues to be, you know, interested and involved in this community. And, and yeah. he'll be the fr- one of the other people to tell you that, you know, the Krim could not be where it is today without this community. And it's, it's been, you know, he, he is always just humbled by the the journey that the race has taken to becoming more than just the fourth Saturday in August and people being active all year round and uh, involving a lot of other ways to inspire people. To it be is healthy. amazing. It is amazing how it's grown. I mean, with the, t- I mean, even the stuff for little kids to do mm-hmm. and you guys did the Cr- crim three sixty five programs yep. and things like that, where you're getting people involved, healthy lifestyle, but also giving them a goal and a uh, purpose and a lot of times that's helps people in ways other than just physically, but mentally as well. Hundred percent. I mean, you're, you're talking to a lifetime runner here that uh, <laughs> it, that that believes that the the world would be a peaceful world if everyone ran or walked. So um, obviously, I'm going to be agreeing with all that. But no, it, it. I totally agree. I think that we take a, an approach where. You know, obviously we try to come up with the opportunities to be out and active in the community with mm-hmm. the Hapcrim Festival of Races and other races we do. But it, it's not just about running and walking. It's about, you know, your mental health with the mindfulness. It's proper eating with nutrition, um, proper education with community education, you know, trying to advocate for creating safe spaces for us to be pedestrians and maybe not be, I know it's called vehicle city, but maybe, you know, look at using (laughs) things like a bicycle or walking to get around. And, uh, you know, all the things that we do and all the things we try to, you know, offer this community, we wouldn't be able to do it without, you know, the crim it's been fun to be a part of the crim in that we, we definitely aren't on an Island. We, we are not afraid to ask for help and we do a good job at identifying those partners that really do support and align with things that we're trying to accomplish. And HAP is just the shining example of that. They've, they've taken it, you know, they're not just the presenting sponsor of the Hapcrim Festival of Races. They, they, you know, they have our mindfulness instructors come in and offer mindfulness classes for their employees. You know, we try to beef up you know, and, and partner in a lot of ways that they offer benefits to their members. So um, it's through partnerships like that that really make the impact we can have even bigger. Yeah. Well, I, and you I can walk and more. run ever, anywhere, right? Yeah. And, and so yeah, I sit here and I think about 
I'm not a big runner, so uh. sorry. <laughs> when I, I don't take to it too ball, personally. <laughs> yeah, when I played ball in school, I was, yeah, we had to run and we had to do gut busters. And so that was enough running for me. I don't like that. I will walk, but I do like to walk. Mm-hmm. And I find that when I am walking, your mind just empties and you can just think about taking that next step or getting to where your destination is and just leave everything else away. You know, just leave it there. <laughs> so I can see why you would love to run. And if you walk, I know that Bridget that used to be on from here, yes. she had this blog post that was on the website that was, it said that she ruled the world or something. And it was she about runs, her. runs the world. Runs the world. That's what it was. I Bridget actually, runs the world. And it was about her crim experience. And I so made funny. the poster that said that, that she has <laughs> on the other picture. Yeah. Oh, that's funny. That's funny. So, so, well, anyway, so you guys are involved again this year. Yeah. As the main sponsor. How does it work? Yeah. I think it's called presenting sponsor. Yeah. They're, 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 so. the, they're the big main presenting sponsor the, of the whole festival. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. And we just absolutely love the relationship so much. And for me personally, I'm not from the Flynn area, so I wasn't familiar with Krim. I didn't grow up with an, it wasn't a household name to me. I had no idea what it was until I started working and everyone said, oh yeah, come help us. We need more help. Come help us. Come work the, come work the weekend. It is so much fun and it is so exciting to see, especially last summer when it was kind of the first time back after COVID and see uh, how exciting, how excited everyone is to participate in this and how much they look well, forward to it. And how much the they, runners, the walkers, the people, the along people the, the route, the water, <laughs> the water stations. I mean, the whole thing, it's just so incredible. Yeah. And to learn about Bobby and all of the things that the, that the Crim Festival does, not just the not just the races. It's just it's really it's an incredible partnership, like you said, and we just we are absolutely thrilled to be a part of it. So yeah, that's great. So now you have uh, what what are the dates of the crim this year? Yeah, so it's always the fourth Saturday in August. So the day of the races um, are Friday and Saturday, August twenty sixth and twenty seventh. So some changes from last year. Um, things are going to look a little similar to how we were doing things in twenty nineteen and years before. Okay. Um, so obviously the first thing that jumps out is that we will have the Michigan mile move back to Friday night. So um, we're still uh, partnering with Special Olympics to be hosting the Lois Craig Invitational, which it's an awesome kickoff to the race weekend to see the Special Olympics race. A lot of those athletes are sponsored by groups in our training program. It's a really inspiring way to kick off a, a weekend full of races. So Friday night, Lois Craig Invitational kicks us off, then the Michigan mile. Um, which if we're going to have races on Friday night, that means we're going to have a party back on the flat lot again on Friday night. <laughs> yeah. Super excited about it. So yeah, we'll have the festival lot up and kicking on Friday night for, uh, and, and again, that's not just for racers. That's not for just for people that have done the Michigan mile or uh, Lois Craig invitational. That's a community party. Like we're going to have a live band in a stage. We're going to have, you know, food available, uh, available for purchase. We're going to have ticket sales for uh, beer and other drinks. So we want that to be a community party where everyone's invited to celebrate. Okay. So wait a minute. Okay. So, is the Lois Craig Invitational separate from the Michigan Mile? Yes, that is okay. a race that uh, it's a little, it's shorter than a mile. It, it it is set up where their finish line is going to be the start line for all the uh, major races on Saturday. Okay. Um, but yeah, that's a shorter distance, a couple blocks for the Lois Craig Invitational. Okay. Right in front of what would be the what University Pavilion and Riverfront, okay. and okay. then the Michigan Mile. That will have a course that runs around Wilson Park and a little bit through U of M Flint's campus. Okay. Finishes right near that festival lot. Oh, okay. All right. And I, so you can sign up for any or all of the races and maze you want, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay. There are people That's that cool. do, you know, obviously our 10 miles, the most popular event, but there are people that do, you know, I don't want to say just the Michigan mile, but people that sign up for the Michigan mile and that's the only race they do. Mm. There are some real, uh, Interesting, hardcore. Pe- inj- yeah, <laughs> hard, hardcore people. I don't know if I'd be able to do it. Um, that will literally run every single distance in person. Oh they'll my do, gosh. they'll do that. And it was, there were two, it was brothers that did it last year. They did. And last year it was even harder because the Michigan mile was on Saturday, but there were two brothers that did the 10 mile, the five mile, the 5k and the one mile all on race day Saturday Holy last year. Cow. So you can make Holy it moly. a one mile race. You can That's even dedicated. just do the 10 bear trot if you want, but yeah. Um, yeah. That's there, probably more my speed. <laughs> Yeah, so then we'll keep keep things rolling again Saturday morning, uh, the 10 mile. Again, that's our that's our big race. That's the one we see where the, the most numbers, all the nostalgia and everything. Yeah. We'll have as many as 15 people um, that are, you know, 
eligible or will will have a chance at completing their 45th crim race yeah, consecutive which is pretty incredible yeah um so yeah we'll have wheelers and hand cyclists go off first then every member of the 30 plus year club so any crim runner or walker who's completed 30 or more 10 mile we give them a little head start um as, as an acknowledgement of their commitment to continuing to do the race <laughs> That's um, funny. but then yeah 10 mile the waves VIPs. yeah exactly uh and then we'll have our half crim five mile race then our 5k race and last but certainly not least our, our teddy bear trots the last race of the day which is so cute mm-hmm. yeah I, know. I love it i but think I, my niece is doing that this year she has a little boy but she has done the crim for like, i think the last five years oh great and um she has a little boy just turned one, and I think they're going to do the the teddy bear trot this year. So. Yeah, I'm sure. Um, I think both my girls are going to be doing it so yeah. far. It'll be. How old are your girls? So they're four and one. They oh. did their, the one-year-old did her first race at the Marty Austin Kids Classic on June 4th. She okay. did the toddler trot is what we call it. And she did. She had to be incentivized with food. We had to offer, hey, like, do you want a snack? And she knows like sign language for more. Like, hey, do you want some more food? And then just started moving. <laughs> Um, I guess that motivates a lot of us anyway, too, I was going right? to say, so, uh, yeah, the proverbial dangle right carrot. I mean, yeah. it's not like you just invented that idea. <laughs> but I have to say about the Special Olympics, the, um, the Friday night mm-hmm. event, that is one of my favorite nights of the whole year. It is just so amazing and wonderful and awesome to watch those athletes participate in that run and be part of that crowd and cheer them on. It is just I live for that night every year. It's just so much fun. So yeah, we love it. I mean, yeah, and it's so great to watch. We still, it's always great to see Lo, uh, Lois Craig, the you know mm-hmm. the name that the race is. She was the first ever race director for the Crim, mm-hmm. doing it as a volunteer um, while also you know being a major asset to Bobby when he was speaker <laughs> of the house. Yeah. Like it's it's still mind boggling that they're able to accomplish what they did yeah. in those first couple of years of the race. But yeah. Um, Special Olympics is, you know, we stole that connection. Bobby started the race, how, you know, 45 years ago mm-hmm. as a fundraiser for Special Olympics. And we're just so happy to continue to have that relationship with them. Yeah. And watching all the bikers that come out. Oh, yeah. And tutus. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I live for it. I have so many pictures of that over the last few years that we've been doing, that I've been participating with. This HAP has obviously been for a while, but it's so much fun. I just, I, it's the best night of the whole thing for me is yeah. that moment. It's so much fun. Yeah. Now you have a, do you have a new shirt design this year? Yeah. So something special past couple of years, we've always put the, you know, a couple (laughs) different designs up to the vote, um, where we'd like reach out to our professional partner to, Mm -hmm. to come up with some shirt designs. This year to kind of, you know, add some additional special celebration for our 45th anniversary, we decided we wanted to, you know, cast the call out to people that have done the race, just our crim community, Mm -hmm. um, and have a contest for local artists to submit the design. So we had over 30 different designs submitted, um, you know, and after 4,000 some votes were tallied, we had a a clear (laughs) running away favorite, pun intended. Um, And it's it's an artist named Jeff Rice, grew up in the Flynn area, you know, went to Carmen Ainsworth. Has done the race, you know, a dozen times or so, um, and he he was re- he was shocked. He was really happy. Yeah. Um, so the race has always been really important to him and his family. So sure. for his de- design to be the one that we ended up, um, you know, all of us ended up deciding on, he, he's really excited. But yeah, local shirt design um, that was oh, submitted congratulations after to a him. contest. Yeah, yeah. He's can been... they see that on your site? So yeah, we, I know we posted on social media, um, uh, you know, a month or so ago, but yeah, we'll, we'll make sure that that's available as far as, um, you know, being able to see it on the website, awesome. you know, everyone that signs awesome. up for the race gets it, but we also have uh, a merch store that's, you know, you can get some Crim 45 merch if you're not even planning on running a step of the race. Yeah. Um, we're, we're, we're probably going to be adding a, a shirt, that shirt to that merch available yeah. online as well. And then they have new medals and all that stuff. Yep. So yeah, yeah we, uh, yeah, so we are going with a new, um, metal design, obviously for these anniversary years we always try to go a little bit bigger with the bling so yeah. Um, yeah, it's, it's gonna be a pretty significant and, and big 10 mile uh, medal <laughs> the other medals I, i'm just so excited to see them they look really great they incorporate the city skyline oh no. um, nice you know you'll you'll be able to see them on our website as well but i'm um, really excited to say that these medals are going to be made in the united states too which is something oh, that awesome. we're, we're super happy about i'm awesome. really excited for that so yeah i, I think racers are going to be really really pleased with these anniversary medals this year oh. Now, can they see those on your site as well? It's crimraces.org, right? Yep, crimraces.org. That's where all the info is going to be. And we have info, you know, that lays out not just the race week schedule, but, you know, the course maps, where you should park, um, info on our shuttle service that we offer. Obviously, the links to registration if you still need to sign up. Info about our expo, um, which is returning this year again, which oh, we're good. so excited about. 
Um, but yeah, images of yeah, like things like so. What is the, the expo? So, you know, it's it, it was last year we did it was in 2019. So we mm-hmm. instead of uh, having just a packet pickup where people just show up, get their bib and get their shirt, and then they take off. Uh, it's been a really strong tradition for the crim to have a very large expo with you know 50 plus vendors, um, all focused on health and wellness. Um, but really, you know make the act of going to get your packet a really fun and, An event. and great experience. Yeah. We're, we have people that come into that expo and want to check out the vendor booths that haven't signed up or, you know, are thinking about signing up. But yeah, the expo is something that we have done for years. It's always been, or, you know, as long as back, as long back as I can remember, it's been at the riverfront conference center, like right near the start line. So right downtown, um, past couple years we weren't able to do it we were kind of making sure we're trying to be as outdoor as possible um just to make sure we're being safe and responsible but you know in talking with everyone that we needed to we feel like it's it's time to bring it back and we're so happy to be partnering again with u of m flint and and having that expo um part of the race week experience so people can either sign up at the expo pick up their packet just stop and check out the 40 plus vendors that we're going to be having there um you know the expo is going to open starting on thursday of race week so you can even go as early as thursday august 25th okay is anybody sponsoring that so yeah our our presenting sponsor of the expo this year is planet fitness super excited to have them on board I, knowing them, they're probably going to having some engaging, you know, maybe even some <laughs> fitness challenges outside the expo uh, in the brand new uh, renovated Crim Plaza, which is, you know, continuing to have construction. But there's going to be a ribbon cutting um, probably sometime in July where we totally reimagine that awesome. space right outside Riverfront, make it really more accessible and, and welcoming for people to have not just the Crim, but other organizations to have programming. And, you know, right. whether it's outdoor fitness classes, yoga classes, things like that out in that space. So awesome. It's going to be the great uh, welcome mat to the expo this year. <laughs> and we'll be there, too. Go. We'll be there, too. Give, That's right. Giveaways and, and um, all kinds of good stuff. Everywhere so. you look, you're going to see Hap. You're going to see them. Everywhere. <laughs> you're going to see them at the expo. I know last year we, we were handing Pat. out. They're we were, the best. We were handing out pom-poms to everyone oh, yeah. so we've got pom-poms to cheer people on um i well we had that last year i don't i don't even know what our giveaways are for this year yet but they're usually pretty good for the crowd yeah, so i'm excited to see yeah and so, if you're doing the 10 mile they're i mean i'm probably biased but they're one of the best water stations out there exactly. at mile five on bradley hills <laughs> you gotta love omar and absolutely water I mean, station. people that are you know Taking on the challenge of the Bradley Hills certainly appreciate all that extra support and <laughs> oh encouragement gosh. at that water station. They do yeah. a great job Heck there. Yeah. <laughs> well, and that's one of the great things about this is along the route, the the uh, support you get from the community out there Seriously, cheering people so on great. and having the water stations and having little cheer groups and all this stuff. It's, it's so I heard fun. Some great stories. It's so fun. I know um, Dr. Denard, who's our CEO, he's going to be, um, you know, uh, speaking before the, the start of it. And then he wants to go out to the, the water stations and be along the route so he can cheer people on as uh-huh. they go by, which is so great. I mean, we love Dr. Denard. He's so involved and so integral into all of these pro- projects that we support like this and like we just got done with the heart walk in in detroit at the um, at ford field a few weeks ago so he's so great and is gonna he's just such a fun time to to hang out with and be he's really fun to support i know we're, we're, to I'm, watch him support everyone is what i meant have to, to get say. a shot of him handing someone a water and getting splashed by it or something yep. <laughs> <laughs> there's yep. some hazards to the job no <laughs> yeah we're funny. we're really excited and yeah we we pride ourselves on being one of the safer races in the country you know with the, all mm-hmm. the support we have you know there's a water station every, at least every mile and then as you get to the second half of that 10 mile there's some you know every half mile just to make sure we're making making racers as hydrated as we possibly can um, but the medical support that's out there and then then you get into things like the course entertainment where there's a bunch of bands out there you know there's multiple high school marching bands there's yeah. some you know just some local bands that choose to be out there um, a lot of times people that live on the course just set up their chairs and cheer people on um, we have some Less official aid stations, I'll call them, that are handing out things that maybe aren't <laughs> uh, aren't official. Yeah, not official, o- official sanctioned. <laughs> yeah. We like to turn the other way on that because it just adds to the experience. I always tell people you can make the crim as competitive as you want or as not competitive as you want. There are people that are running, you know, four thirty a mile for the full ten miles. And then there are people that are taking every stop they can and enjoying the experience. And, That's you know, funny. no matter that what, would be me. it's yeah, the same sure. finish line. And, we, <laughs> like, you know, we're really, we're happy to have everyone come together and celebrate. That's, That's so cool. I love that it. That is. And, and you know what? I just was noticing the teddy bear trot 
is sponsor is being presented by one of our other uh radio show sponsors, Financial Plus Credit Union. Yeah, they're oh, a great. You see that. Yeah, they're a so great, we have great partner. Two sponsors that are part of it. That's great. I just love the idea of the teddy bear dress. I think it's so I cute. Just love the name. It's got one of the more popular race shirts, too. So the front Does of it, it obviously is a teddy bear, but then the back of it is the actual back of that same teddy bear. Oh, I, love oh, I love it. Something so you? simple, but it's great. <laughs> Watch him tail. coming and going. Yeah. And then, you know, Running Bear, our mascot, usually makes Running an appearance. Bear. He's out there. He's touch and go with the kids. Some The older uh, kids definitely like him. If, you know, you get yeah. to a certain age, like the one, two-year-olds are yeah. a little... <laughs> They're a little skittish. A little scared. Well, it's probably the biggest bear they've ever seen. So. Well, and, and you know what? I didn't even think about it, but uh, it was last year when we had the Easter Bunny out at the mall. Oh, yeah. And we weren't even thinking about it. You know, some of these kids, three, two, three, four years old, had never seen the Easter mm-hmm. Bunny before because oh, right, of, COVID, of COVID. Oh right? my gosh, I didn't even think so about that. Like, so they're already creepy to begin even with. About it, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they're like all creeped out. It's like <laughs> a, you know, big Harvey there. You know, I don't know. <laughs> but, <laughs> I think it's common with mascots. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Hit or miss. But it was it's hit or miss. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Santa. My daughter. My daughter. When they, know. My kids were kids. My my kids were kids. When my kids were little. They. <laughs> my daughter wanted nothing to do with that crap. Mm-hmm. My son was all about it because he knew he was getting some. Right. So, <laughs> say, it's hit or miss. like, I'm getting a freebie. I go over there, you know, get my picture taken. <laughs> Mom's happy. I'll get to go get ice cream. My daughter's like, I am not going and seeing that rabbit. She didn't mind Santa. She loved Santa. But that well, rabbit creeped her out. She's got her priorities. <laughs> but he was no running bear. We love running bear. Yeah. Uh-huh. Most most kids do. There's yeah. a book and everything, too. So that, that oh, is that, that's so cute. Everybody oh. loves a bear. <laughs> a teddy bear. Okay, yeah. Everybody yeah. loves a teddy bear. Exactly. So anyway, I kind of got <laughs> off on a tangent there, as I so often do. Okay, so we've got uh, August 26th and 27th, the Crim. Is the expo, uh, you said that's going to start the 25th, though, yep. right? Yeah, so the expo opens to the public on Thursday, August 25th. So you awesome. can get your you know stuff a little bit earlier, check out the vendors, come back multiple days. You know, There's going to be a lot of fun and exciting things that are happening there, a lot of giveaways, um, great discounts from some of the vendor yeah. booths and things like that. So that, that starts on Thursday, and then uh, expo will continue on Friday. And then we'll have a little bit of packet pickup available Saturday morning, too, for the out-of-town racers. Yeah, and there's lots of, lots of racing. You don't have to, you know, you don't have to run the 10 mile if you, if that's not something you feel you can do. You could even walk the 10 mile. You don't have to run it at all. 100%. <laughs> but if you want to do something smaller, they have the Michigan mile. You have Saturday, you have the 10 mile. You have a 5 mile. You have 5K. And you have a teddy bear trot. That's right. There is no age limit on the teddy bear trot. I always have to tell people that. <laughs> You can be you can be whatever age you want to do the teddy bear trap. <laughs> but if you're an adult, you have to bring a teddy bear with you to trap with. Mm, there you go. <laughs> I, I could I could make that happen. There you go. I could make that happen. <laughs> yeah, we want to make that's sure people funny. know too. You know, everyone that's that's a part of this celebration is a part of the crim experience. Whether that's a participant, you know, a vendor booth, someone that mm-hmm. you know chooses to have a, a booth space at the expo. Or one of the 2,000 plus volunteers it takes us to put this on. You yeah. Know, we really need a lot of help, whether it's water stations, handing out those packets at packet pickup. There's lots of opportunities um, for people to be part of the Crim Race crew. Okay. And so they go to Crim Race, uh, Crim Races, C R I M R A C E S dot org for info and to sign up. Now, is there a cost? To sign up? Yeah, so right now, um, the the 10 mile, I believe, is $60. And then from each of those events that are shorter distance, it, it gets, fur- it gets you know, further away from that. So I think the half crim, is, uh, which is the five miles, $45. Our 5K is 35 Michigan miles, 25 Teddy Bear Trot's 15 Right, and you get a, sh- in your packet, you mm-hmm. get a shirt, you get your medal, you yep. get all those things. So in well, that you pack- get the medal when you finish, Yeah, right? so in that shirt, in that packet, you'll get the shirt and your bib. That bib gives you a complimentary beverage and a complimentary um, food item on the festival lot after the race. Awesome. Yeah, as soon as you cross that finish line, you're getting that big old medal. Okay. That's awesome. I think that is so cool. I think it's, I just love how much, um, like I said, not being from Flint myself, I love how, how much of a community this, this city is, this, the city and the township together. I, I kind of put them all in one, one, one kind of 
um, geographical sense in my head anyway. And just the partnership and all the, or the companies and the vendors and the organizations and the volunteers and all the people that come out to help and support this. I just think it's so fabulous to be a part of it. Um, just me as an employee of the sponsor, it's such a great event and we're so happy to be a part of it and have that opportunity. So it's really great. Yeah. And we're, you know, we love having you here and I just can't believe that it's been 45 years. I know. It's been going on. I know. How long have you been with Krim now? So I hit, uh, seven years in March. And wow. yeah, as a guy who grew up running all throughout high school and college, you know, I did the crim. I don't think I ever did the crim. I did the crim 5k like one time, you know, growing up, but I just still vividly remember the experience because I grew up in Fenton. So coming up to Flint felt okay. like, felt a world away. Yeah. Um, and then going, you know, going off to college, coming back home and then actually volunteering with the crim for a year or two, helping them out. And then to be where I am now, where I get to say that my, you know, my job every day is to make sure that this awesome celebration is the best experience it can be is yeah. I great what a great, great job. grateful is an understand I, I can't <laughs> so even put in words yeah. how grateful I am yeah. to be where I am and to be working with all the people we are able to work with whether it's sponsors and partners or the volunteers that help lead groups in the training program or handing out water on the course or all the racers that are interested in right. signing up it's been it's been a great experience and yeah I mean I can't think of a better way to commemorate 45 years i mean this race it's one of the older races and there's a lot of other races in michigan pretty significant ones that are celebrating some anniversaries this year Um, we're one of the older ones in michigan and i think that we're able to you know have that continued success from just the the buy-in and and support that we've received from this community over the years i mean obviously flint's has had some ups and downs in the 45 years that the, the crim has been around but people have always been a part of this race and they've always wanted to support it so um, we can't thank this community enough, and our way of thanking you is throwing the best celebration and race we possibly right. can. Yeah. Cheers to that! Right, right. <laughs> and you know, we we're we're so happy that HAP is involved, and and these other sponsors that help um, bring help put on this wonderful event. And it is, it's one of our. How should I say it? It's one of the largest events that we're known for. I mean, that people all over the world yeah. know the crim race. Yeah, I mean, there right? would be, in the first 10, 15 years of the race, they would be broadcasting the leaders of the race live on ESPN. Like, yeah. it, it was a very, and it still is a big deal, but it was it was one of the premier road races in the country for yeah. many, many years. And now it's, you know, obviously it's, it's become an entire festival <laughs> where there's a ton of, you know, you know, we get, you know, anywhere from 10 to 15,000 plus racers, which is one of the biggest races in the state. But the number of people coming downtown, you know, it's, you know, 50, 60,000 plus people. It's a huge festival. Yeah. It's one of the biggest festivals that happens in Flint every year. Yeah. Love it. Uh, yes, we do. And so I want to uh, reiterate again, that's August 26th and 27th. The expo starts on the 25th. Uh, if you want more information and sign up, go to crimraces.org. I want to thank Elizabeth and Joe for coming in today. And I want to remind our listeners, if you have any questions or comments, uh, you can email me at discoverflinttownship at gmail.com. You can also go to our Facebook page at Flint Township Events. Our website, discoverflinttownship.com or flinttownship.org. You can listen in on the show. If you've missed past shows, you can see them all or listen to them all on <laughs> Anchor uh, for the podcast and on YouTube, which is Discover Flint Township. And I'm trying to think, was there anything else? Oh, besides thanking our wonderful sponsors, <laughs> which include HAP, Financial Plus Credit Union, Shea Automotive Group, Guaranteed Rain, and 103.9 The Fox. You can join us again next week at 7.30 a.m. right here on 103.9 The Fox. I'm Tracy Tucker, and this is Discover Flint Township. I would like to remind everybody, stay safe, stay healthy, shop local, buy local, and discover Flint Township. We'll catch you later. Bye.